Well, hello, hello, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Miss Crochet and Coffee here, and today we're back with the unbagging. So let's get into this. I hope everyone had a wonderful, wonderful day. If not, I hope you had a great weekend. So we're going to get into this. We have our little whale, uh, Zacco knife there. So there are two kits in here. Ah, okay. So this is going to be a part two to the uh, Diamond Painting Collector uh, unboxing. So, Diamond Painting Collector, if you guys didn't know, I just unboxed them the other day, and I told you guys that there was another package I was waiting on for this company. Here it is. This is the other two kits I had ordered. I thought this was something else, but it is DIY Home Over, or I think that, no, DIY, or I'm sorry, Diamond Painting Collector, all mixed up. So, the one is square, which the purple one is square, and this one is round. So, we're going to take these out of the plastic to take a look at them. So, I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful day. So, let's see what we got here. And I believe I've seen Fruitini working on one of these, and I just thought it was really cute. So, I was like, oh, when I seen it at their shop, I was like, oh, well, I'll go check it out. Now, this order was placed right after uh, the other order that I had, like literally minutes after that other order, but for some reason, this one came in later. Like, I just got this one in uh, Friday, which would have been the 24th. So, let's get into this. And I, again, I don't like when they put the tape on here, so we're going to go ahead and try to get the tape off. Without cutting the kit. So let's see what we got here. All right. We got nasty yellow tape. We're going to roll it backwards. Now it should come on a foam roller. And so far, I'm seeing that. That's not a good sign. Now I had a lot of really bad... Uh, not people, sorry. A lot of really bad reviews come through on the, the comment section of the unboxing I did for this company last time. Uh, they had a lot of issues. They thought it was paint with diamonds. They said it looked like Hua Can't. Um, which, of course, you guys already know. If you don't know, I'm not a fan of Hua Can't. Uh, I Hua Can't be a fan. So let's see how this one looks. Up, oh, big old bubble right there. There's just, this is just an indent right there. So let's see, is that bubble going to continue down here at the bottom? And of course I'm ripping it. The glue on these does come out really far, which is highly irritating. Um, the glue does not need to come out that far on a kit. And again, you can cut it off, so there's no bubble there, but there's a huge one right there. So before working on these kits, you would have to fix those bubbles. So, yeah, so let's get this out of the way. We'll put this inside us. So this is what the image looks like. It is just like a little geisha girl. She's in purple. There's a whole set of these little girls. Um, so when I saw this, I was like, I really, really want to try to do this set. Now, this here is a river, and this is a bubble. So let's show you the difference between a river and a bubble. All right, so river. Do you see this here? It's These are bubbles. This is a river. So you see how the canvas is indented? Um, I don't know if I can get you to look, but if you see it... Sorry about that. So if you see there, the canvas itself is bubbled under. The, the canvas bowed. So the canvas is creased right there, and then the glue is sitting on top of it. That is what we call a rivet or a river. Um, and then when the bubble, when the canvas is still flat... And the glue still pops up like this one here. This is called a river. Or, I'm sorry. I'm going to confuse the crap out of y'all. I know I am. This is called a bubble. So, the canvas is still flat and the glue has come up. That's a bubble. When the canvas is creased going down and the glue is up coming towards the opposite way and there's space between the two, that is called a river or a rivet. People call it, this. I call it river. 
So what you would have to do to fix that, you're gonna get out your handy dandy X-Acto knife here. And for the bubbles, you just make tiny little slits in the canvas where the bubble is, to release that air. And you're gonna want it to get to sit flat. So you're just taking very lightly with your X-Acto knife and making little slashes. And you will see the bubble start to flatten itself out with the slashes. And don't worry, this doesn't affect the drilling area. The slashes don't. Um, it just makes sure that you can work on this kit. Same thing with the river. They have it on there literally so tight. And let me bring you down so you can see this. It's literally so tight that my my knife is going down into the river. So we're just gonna make little slices there. And we're gonna get a piece of parchment paper to recover it because as you guys know, parchment paper on top of these, parchment, not wax, parchment paper on top of them will keep them from developing any more issues, any more bubbles or rivers or what have you. So we're gonna get some parchment paper. All right, so when you have your parchment paper. Now you can still use the three strips that came on here because this did come in three strips. You can cut these down to make them release squares because that's essentially what they are. Having them together and rolled onto the kit the way they were is what makes them do what they did. So, sorry, I squeaked there for a second. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna recover this. Now this is supposed to be a 30 by 40. And like I said, my parchment paper will tell me whether or not it's a true to size 30 by 40 because my parchment paper that I get comes in 30 by 40 size. Um, I like getting the bigger parchment paper instead of the little squares. I will link where to get the parchment paper below in the description box. I'm trying to make sure I put this on here straight. Now you can use your foam roller to get this on. So it lay down flat up here really good. We're just gonna rub that river right there. So as you can see right here, the uh, that is a very deep crease right there in the kit. Um, there's not a whole lot you can do to get that out. You can drill on it, but it may or may not cause you issue. Oh, I ripped up some of my stuff. I really hate that the glue comes out so far. Um, so yeah, so let's take a look at the drill field real quick. Now the diamonds, the diamonds for this, I believe are square. So let's see, we have R and G and H and E and D and H and Z, X. The drill still does look really clear. I am super bummed about the, uh, I am super bummed about the bubble and the rivet in the kit, but the drill fill does look super clear. I really just hate working with canvases that have these issues because it does make more of a pain in the butt to work on, in my opinion. Um, I'm also going to get my ruler out here and I'm going to try to flatten this out the best that I can. And that's how you can tell it's a really deep river is when it won't even... Uh, it won't even touch the parchment paper. Like, I can't get it to stay flat on the parchment paper. Let's turn it this way. I can't even get it to flatten out on the back. I don't know if ironing it would do anything. But, yeah. So, we're going to take a look at its drills. So, here are the drills. Now, the drills don't have any identification mark telling me that it belongs to this kit. Oh, I lied. It's right here. So... This is what I was looking for. Three, 30 by 40, uh, the canvas number is 7166. 
So right there, 7166, just to match it up. So let's take a look at the squares in this kit to see if they are any better than the ones in the unicorn kit. Now, the ones in the unicorn kit aren't bad, but as I'm working on it, I'm finding quite a few knobbly bits. But like I said before, as long as you have enough good drills to finish the image, I don't care if it has trash in it. I don't care if the drills, you know, aren't the best. As long as I have enough drills to finish it with the good drills. So let's take a look at one of the darker colors. And again, if you get wax like this and it's opaque where you can see through it, it's not good wax. Don't waste your time with it. You do get a white drill pen, a blue squishy... A uh, four-placer that looks like a seven-placer that was in there. Where'd it go? There's another one in there floating. There it is. That's a ten-placer. So you get a four and a ten-placer. You ever wonder what makes them think to give you a ten-placer and a seven-placer? Or a ten-placer and a four-placer? Like, that's weird. You also get the really good tweezers. These are the sharp ones, so be very careful to keep the sheath on them so that you don't stab yourself. So let's take a look at these drills. Make sure everything's out of the boat. Now, I'm not a big fan of this boat only because it looks like it would be difficult to get these drills out of here. So let's take a look here. I see a couple of knobbly bits. Here's one on that one. There's a hole in knobbly bit on that one, knobbly bit on that one, knobbly bit on that one, and that one. So there are quite a few knobbly bits in this kit. Um, if I had to warn you, I would probably warn you to be careful of getting squares from this company because they don't look like they're pretty good squares. Um, and knobbly bit. Okay, so you're wondering what a knobbly bit is. So let me get one out here. Let's see if I can find one that's pointing the correct way. All right, so that drill is upside down. So you see how it's not a perfect square? And it has that little piece of plastic on the side of it. I'm trying to flip it over. See how there's just a tad of extra plastic on the side on that one? That is called a knobbly bit. Knobbly bits are extra pieces of plastic that stay behind when the mold is cut for the diamond. If you were to put this down on your kit with that extra piece of plastic on the side, you see it? If you put that down on your kit with your other drills, it will make your drills pop, meaning they will literally come up, back up off the canvas. When you get drills, that's what you're looking for. That's what other YouTubers, when you're seeing them do unboxings and stuff, if they look really good at their drills, they're that's what they're looking for. They're looking for those extra pieces of plastic on the drills that would make your experience not so fun because then you have to pick out each and every one of those that has extra plastic on it, like that one there, that one there, this one has a hole in the top of it, this one is a knobbly bit, that So automatically for this kit, I'd give it a 2 out of 10 because the, you and it's always the darker colored drills because they're the most mass produced. And like I said, as long as they've given me enough to complete it, Without having to use the knobbly bits, I'm happy. But I highly doubt that I'm going to have enough to complete it because there are so many freaking knobbly bits in here. And you can see them. So even if I just shake them up like this and show them, take a few minutes, pause, count, and see if you can see how many knobbly bits you can find. So if you didn't count, so there's one there, two, three, four, five, and you can look between. So when they're pushed together and they're not sitting close, flush together, there's a knobbly bit there. There's a knobbly bit there. There's two of them there. So there's quite a few knobbly bits in these black drills. So you're probably like, Miss Coffee, but what if it's just the black drill? Well, if it's just the black drills, that's fine. I can go into my stash, find some good quality black drills, and use those. And these are black. So I do like the, the weight of the, this boat. It is really lightweight. It's not as girthy, I want to say, as my other boat. And it's not actually that hard to get them out of here, minus if they have static. If you have staticky drills, you just throw a little piece of dryer sheet grenade into your uh, drill bag, and you should be fine, or your drill case, or whatever you're putting your drills in. So let's take a look at another uh, color. Let's go for a lighter color. How about that? We'll go for a pink. We'll go for this pink here. 
Now, a lot of people will say that the dimple on the back of the drill, you know, they don't want dimples on the back of their drills. I don't care about the dimples. I don't see them, and that does not affect your canvas at all. If you do have a kit that has popping drills, I would highly suggest sealing it with that sealer there. Oops, sorry. There. So let's see. Are the pinks any better? So we're going to get you down so you can see. We're going to focus you. I'm seeing these dimples. I don't know if you can see that. And this drill right here. Can you see the dimple on the top of it? That would be one of the drills I wouldn't put down because it's an imperfect drill. So let's see, are there any knobbly bits on these drills? There's another one with a dimple on top. Now, you can easily use the ones with the dimple on top, no problem. And I'm not really seeing any knobbly bits in here. I'm just mostly seeing that dimple in the top of the drill. The dimple in the bottom of the drill usually means that when they were uh, getting the molds out, they were putting poking little holes in them to make sure that they didn't develop any bubbles on the inside of the drill so it would be flat. And then they end up uh, curing with that little dimple in it like that. And I'm not seeing any not... Oh, I lied. Just as quick as I said that. And yes, I am searching for them because if I have a, a whole bag of really bad 310s, I can almost guarantee you they're not going to be the only bag. So there's a knobbly bit on that one and this one over here. But not as many as are in the black bag. Their drill quality gets a 1 because... I don't I don't work well with knobbly bits. Usually I don't even work on kits that have knobbly bits because I have too many good kits in there to worry about frustrating myself with canvases that have really bad drills. So I can see what everybody was talking about now when they said that the drill quality wasn't the best for this company and that they had to uh, replace their drills or stop working on it because they wouldn't stop popping. What you could also do is if you're desperate to finish a kit that has knobbly bits... If you take the drill and a nail pair of nail clippers and you clip off that extra piece of plastic, that will take care of the knobbly bits as well. Or if I guess if you have a nail file, you might be able to file it down so that it's flat, so it lays flat. That's if you're like in desperate times for desperate measures type thing and you really want to finish your kit. Um, so it looks like we have a couple of knobbly bits in this one as well. That's very disappointing because the Unicorn kit so far, I haven't found any knobbly bits. And I will be doing some more work on it today. And again, when they don't sit flush, when they're not sitting side by side and there's a little gap, that tells you that that one has a knobbly bit on the side. So I was seeing a couple of them. There's one right here. So as you can see, it's not sitting close together because there's that little space and you can see that little black thing on the inside. That one has a knobbly bit. That one has a knobbly bit. So yeah, the drill quality on this one, no. It's not doing it for me. It's a no for me, dog. Nah. Um, would I still say that, you know, people should go check them out? You can check them out, but, you know, you've been warned. Your, your dr drills might not be the best quality when it comes to squares. Again, I'm going to say stick to rounds. And don't think just because they're round that they can't pop. Round drills can pop too. Who a can made that possible uh, for us to be able to see that, um, which is probably why who a can. Now, don't get me wrong; there are people out there that love who a can. I know quite a few uh, creators that love who a can. That they've had great kits. They've gotten really lucky with getting really good drills. I've had one kit from who a can that had. Sorry, I've had one kit from who a can. It had popping drills. They sent me out replacement drills that were still popping. I threw the kit in the trash. Um, which by in the trash, I mean, it's still sitting in my closet half done. And at some point I probably will either give it away or do something with it. Please don't message asking, can you have it? So there's that kit. So that kit has 35 colors. Um, I'm going to take it that they have all the colors in there because we just spent 20 minutes looking at that kit. So we are going to roll that kit up like this. And when you roll up your kits, when you recover them, you can roll them with the parchment paper on them. It still shouldn't present any issues. And now we're going to move on to the next kit, which was this round kit here. Now, I thought I ordered two of them in round and one in square. 
because when I try new companies, I will try one square, one round. And I thought I gotten two rounds because, you know, just being safe. But apparently not. But that's okay. I love squares anyway, so it doesn't matter. I'm one of those weird people that love squares. All right, so we're going to close that. Bloop, bloop. Get the hell out of here. Get, get out of here. All right. So let's look and see how this one looks. So far, so good. And if it's rolled up like this, be very careful because you can create your own rivers and stuff. So you see how that is forming right there? It's detaching. They rolled it so tight on these foam, foam rollers that you can't help but create your own bubbles and rivets. So I blame that on the company because that's on them for rolling it on that thing so rough or so hard. Um, stop. Okay, we're going to put it at the edge of the table. So what I do is I put it at the edge of the table to make it hang on to the edge. And then I'll um, take the things off if I can get them off. Big old bubble there. Um, let's see here. That looks to be the only bubble. This one looks like it is trying to form something here. So the image does look clear. There is a little bit of something right here, bubble-wise, and we're going to take care of that with our tweezers, which if you don't have an X-Acto knife, yes, you can use the tweezers. Um, so I'm going to use the tweezers on these bubbles up here. And this is actually another river. It's not a bubble. We're going to try to see if it'll get it to lay flat. Looks like we might have gotten that one to lay flat, so it didn't look too bad. So the canvas quality looks really good. I love the image. I love the colors in this image. This is the red geisha girl, I believe, red or pink. Um, she has 40 colors instead of the 35 that the other one has. So as you can see, her drill field is clear. I would worry about mixing up the circle with the line and the G just because, you know, weird eyes. Um, but other than that, it doesn't look like a bad kit. Again... Some double-sided adhesive kits aren't bad. I'm not a big fan of them just because they can develop a lot of issues. So we're going to recover it with our parchment paper. We're recovering it with our parchment paper. Try to get this laid down flat here. So they do measure true to size for those wondering because, like I said, this is 12 by 16 inch uh, parchment paper and that equals a 30 by 40. So these are both 30 by 40 images. Get that to lay flat there. So this is a round. So this one I might actually get to do. If I want the other one, I will probably end up having to buy it in a round. Again, if you have a company that has really bad squares, try going for their rounds. Unless you're just one of those people like Diamond Paint and Queen that doesn't like rounds. She just she just loves squares. She's like obsessed with them. So, squares are to Diamond Paint and Queen like coffee is to Miss Coffee. So, our canvas number is 3488. 3488. So, that tells us we have the right drills. We're going to say that all the drills are in there. There's a square that just popped out of there, apparently. Again, I hate all the extra glue. Again, just take your X-Acto knife and try to get that off there. I hurt myself doing it last time. I, like, messed up my finger. Um, the drill quality for the squares actually looks really good. So, let's look at a dark color. Matter of fact, we're going to give it the same energy we gave the other one. So, we're going to push this off to the side. Let's get that boat back out. So let's see how these squares are, or the rounds are. The rounds actually look really good. So I'm not seeing a whole lot of trash in there, if any. They look clean, they look shiny. 
not seeing anything wrong with the rounds. Definitely we say if you're going to try this company, go for the rounds. Don't go for the squares. Um, I'm hoping that I continue to not have issues with my uh, unicorn because Maggie has already claimed it. Um, but of course, I would let you guys know if I do have issues because just like I did with Diamond Art Home, I will probably stop and let you guys know that the drills are popping. And if you guys didn't know and you're new to my channel, if the drills pop, that's automatically, like, uh, that's that's it for me. I don't work on popping drills. There are other creators that do, and kudos to them for having the patience. I don't have the patience. Um, life's too short to work on crappy canvases, and I'm trying to help you guys avoid buying them. So, again, if I, if I had to say anything, this is not a good place to get square drills. Until they fix their square drills... This is not a good place to get your square drills. I would say definitely go with rounds. The rounds look a lot better. They look nice and clean and healthy and strong, like Flintstone vitamins. So, yeah, I would definitely say go with the rounds for this kit. This kit and the other kit. All right, so I have to go look up the information. So, the, for this kit, um, I actually got a discount, and I paid $47.99 for both kits. Both kits were $29.99. That is too much to pay, in my opinion, for a double-sided adhesive kit. Um, again, I ordered these back in on May. May 24th, I ordered this, and these came in on July 24th. So May, June, May to June, June to July. So two months. Two months to get. And during the middle of a pandemic, you, you can't really expect anything less. So, May 24th is when I ordered this, or at least when I got the notification that I ordered them. Um, I don't know when they shipped, but then I got them July 24th. Um, they're not bad kits. That first one might have been a little iffy. Uh, again, you can always fix a problem with a kit if it has bubbles, rivers, rivets, you know, what have you. If the adhesive is coming up, uh, that might be something you might not be able to fix unless you're just pulling it up and then you can just like kind of rub it down and create some friction to leave it on the canvas. But bubbles and rivers and stuff are a pain, but they're not impossible to, to get out. Um, with the price point that this company is selling their kits for, I would have expected better quality and I did not get that. The good thing is, is that they don't upcharge for squares because there are some companies out there that will upcharge for squares. Uh, my rule of thumb is I usually try not to pay more than $40 for a kit that if I know is going to be double-sided adhesive. If it's a bigger kit, then a bigger than a 30 by 40, if I'm going for like a 50 by 40 or something like that, I still probably wouldn't pay more than $45 because it's just not worth it. It's not worth it because of all the problems that you can have for when you store them away. So if you store it away and you come back to it and say you didn't replace it with the parchment paper. Now the parchment paper on this should help avoid getting any more bubbles and rivers in my kit. Uh, I've done it with other kits before and it worked perfectly fine. So uh, replacing it with the parchment paper again, I will have the parchment paper linked down below. Um, Somebody asked me if it's double-sided parchment paper that I use. I believe so. I'm not 100% sure, and I really don't want to take this off here. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull this part back to see if it's, uh, if I can use both sides. From the looks of it, yeah, you can probably use both sides of the parchment paper. Always be ch be sure if you're getting parchment paper to redo uh, your canvas with, um, always make sure to test it on the small portion of your kit, like right in the corner, because you don't want to put a whole thing of parchment paper down, try to rip it up, and it ends up tearing up your canvas, or you can't get it off, or you ended up getting wax instead of parchment. Do keep in mind that there is a difference. I also know don't get parchment paper from the dollar store. You get what you pay for, and more than likely, it will ruin your kit. Um, so I will, again, link where I got this parchment paper on Amazon. I will get keep in mind that it will be an affiliate link because I do have an Amazon influencer. So if you use the link, I will make a small commission. So thank you in advance if you choose to use it. If not, that's cool too. Either way, um, for this kit, I'd give it probably a 7 out of 10. The drills look really good. The canvas had slight bubbleage to it, but you have to think for it being uh on the road for as long as it was i was actually expecting them to come a lot worse because they are double-sided adhesive no i do not have the best experience with double-sided adhesive canvases which is why you rarely ever see me work on them 
because poor glue is just always better than double-sided adhesive because you don't develop these same issues with poor glue. Now, I'm not saying it's impossible to develop those issues with poor glue, but it's highly unlikely that you will unless something extravagant happens that you've done or that has happened to your kit in transit. Usually, you will not get bubbles and rivers in your poor glue. So, with that said, would I suggest this company to anybody? Sure. I'm not going to tell you that you can't shop at a place just because they have bad squares because there's always the option of rounds. So if you don't mind doing rounds, this might be a good company for you to come to. Just know that you might have a little bit of issue with your kit and it's gonna take a little bit for it to get to you, but that is okay. For squares, eh, eh, no, don't, don't get squares from this company. Give it a few months and maybe they'll improve, but I would not get squares from this company. If you have extra squares that you can use to possibly uh, replace the bad ones, then go for it. If not, I would definitely not recommend squares from this company. The squares look really bad. They have a lot of knobbly bits. Didn't see a whole lot of trash, which is a good thing. But the knobbly bits are kind of considered trash, so it is what it is. Um, but with that said, if you would like to try them out, again, I would suggest trying them in round, not squares. Um, the legend and everything, the canvas itself does look like Hua can. It does look like Hua can. Um, because of how wide the edges are, the fact that the legend is on one side and the image is the the image is presented with the legend going horizontal, but the picture itself is vertical. Um, I know that's a who can thing, and something I actually really can't stand is when they do that because it makes it harder for whenever you're diamond painting and say you're diamond painting here at the bottom and you need to know what this next symbol is, now you have to pull the whole kit up and you're constantly doing this because there's no extra legend. And I'm sorry, if I'm paying $30, I would expect, since you have all this extra fabric on the side, I would expect another legend over here or something like legend paper. Now, a lot of the times when you get canvases that come in baggies, you will not get an inventory sheet. Why? Because it's weighed or they're counted out to give you exactly what you need. So for example, this one here, this tells us this is number 15 on the canvas, which is DMC 600. And it says it has 17,016 or 1,716 drills. So let's look on the kit here. So that's C, so it's number 15, letter C on the canvas. So you can write a, like, a, number, a letter C right there. And it tells you that you need 1455. And they gave you 1716 in this bag. Now, am I going to count to make sure that they gave me 1716? Oh, no, 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 we're not. We're going to have to trust in the fact that they gave us that many. So these bags are obviously counted drills. They counted the drills out and bagged them this way. So you will not get an inventory sheet. Um, I don't know why they feel that they don't need to give you one if they count or weigh the diamonds. Uh, I think I would feel a little bit more, you know, at ease. But you can always take a picture at the side or photocopy the side if you have a copier um, to get that extra legend if you want it for, like, storing your drill. Like, most people won't work out of the baggies. They work out of, like, cases. So, with that said, again, I, I would recommend the company. But do keep in mind that you might run into a little bit of trouble, which... It's going to be to say with any canvas that has poor glue or double-sided adhesive. Um, and stay away from the squares. As long as you stay away from these squares and go for the rounds, the canvas can be fixed, but the drills cannot. You would have to buy more or you would have to trash the kit. And I can't tell you how many horror stories I've seen over just over the last couple of days of people getting canvases with horrible drills and having to throw that out. It is a waste of money and it, it's heart-wrenching when you wait all that time for a kit and you get it, and the drills are horrible. So for squares, no, would not recommend. For rounds, sure, go ahead, have at it, have a party. But with that said, folks, that's enough of me rambling. I hope this was a, at all helpful to someone, and it wasn't just me rambling, wasting your time. So thank you so much for watching. If you have any other questions, comments, or concerns about this company, please leave it down in the comment section below. But as for me, uh, I have to now bid you adieu but not before reminding you that if you're new to the channel and would like to see more random crazy videos just like this, please feel free to hit that subscribe button and the bell to be notified anytime I randomly decide to put up a video. And believe me, it's random. But with that said, folks, I really must bid you adieu. But not before reminding you, like I always try to, to be kind, be courteous, be cool. Bye, guys.